Hey everyone, today we're opening the HP Omen Max 16 AH. We'll show you how to get inside, swap storage and upgrade memory. For full benchmark numbers, thermals, display quality and battery life tests, check the full review on laptopmedia.com. The link is in the description. Now let's get started. To remove the bottom cover, we undo six screws from the underside using a JIS number one screwdriver. The first two screws we take out are shorter than the rest. Remember where they came from because using a long screw in that spot could damage the chassis. One of the long screws is captive. It loosens but stays attached to the panel, so don't try to force it out. We pry up the bottom cover with a thin plastic tool, not metal, to avoid scratching the case. Here's that captive screw we mentioned. The Omen Max 16 cools the hardware with two large fans and a vapor chamber. The main chips sit under liquid metal for faster heat transfer. Before touching the SSDs or the RAM, we disconnect the battery. We start by removing the screws that secure it. This laptop uses a 6-cell lithium polymer pack rated at 83 watt-hours. It supports fast charging, up to 50% in about 30 minutes when the system is off. You can check the result of our battery life test on laptopmedia.com. And don't forget to visit our top 100 laptops with the best battery life ranking page. Here's the last battery screw. After you take out all of them, gently unplug the battery connector from the motherboard.
Now the system is safe for upgrades. We lift the shield over SSD slot 2. Ours is empty, so you can add a PCI Express 4N VMe M.2 drive here. Slot 1 sits under the vapor chamber with the VRM power parts, so replacing it is trickier. Here is the memory. The Omen Max 16 uses two regular so dim slots in dual channel. Nothing is soldered. HP ships configs with DDR 56400 or 56000 speeds. Both memory slots are covered by thermal pads to help cooling. While we're showing the RAM swap, here's a critical note. The vapor chamber sits on the CPU, the GPU, SSD slot 1, and the VRM power stages. HP uses two thermal materials there. Gray Omen Cryo compound on the processor and GPU dies. And a white Omen Cryo phase change sheet on the VRM and power regulators. If you lift that chamber to reach SSD slot 1, you must reinstall both materials in the same places before you close the laptop or you risk overheating. For full benchmark results, thermals, battery life, display quality, and build impressions, check laptopmedia.com. Link in the description. Thanks for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe.